What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Leaves of Westworld event, which starts on the 26th of September and runs until October the 8th. Now, this is a kind of a group event. It says throughout the event period, you can acquire the new daily quest, Falling Leaves of Westworld. Available, of course, outside the Skingrad uh, event vendor tent to complete the new daily uh, quest, of course, complete uh, or collect lost Aelid relics, bundle them and bring them back. Doing so will grant you the quest rewards and on occasion some additional lore about the region's ancient rulers. In addition to the progress of the Fallen Leaves of Westwell meter found on the event's official page. I will link that down in the description if you want to check that page out so you'll know, you know how far the community has gotten throughout the event's time. As the community completes the new daily quest, the, the uh, progression meter will start unlocking rewards. At 33%, you can get the Vineyard Vorplasm Pet. At 66%, you can get the Valar uh, uh, Stone Memento, and at 100%, you can get the new mount, the Tree Sap Legion Arm Pack, and nesting reward boxes. When the event ends on October the 8th, or sooner if the meter does reach 100%, the community can claim all unlocked rewards for free from the in-game crown store for a limited time. Note, these rewards can be unlocked and claimed only by Gold Road Chapter players. So if you do not own Gold Road yet, uh, be sure to pick it up while this event's going on if you would like to be able to claim these uh, items from the event itself. Okay, in addition to the event's main meter and rewards, you and your fellow players can also unlock additional days of the Explorer Celebration event by completing any quest within the Westwell Zone. For every 33% of bonus meter completed, uh, they will enable three days of the Explorer Celebration. This bonus mini event uh, mini event kicks off as soon as the Fallen Leaves of Westwell event ends on the 8th. This event will grant additional XP, gold, and resource harvesting, uh, harvesting for everyone in Tamriel during the event period. While the event and the community chase is ongoing, you can receive a special sublime fallen uh, coffer for, for the first West Weld zone daily quest you complete each day and then earn regular coffers, of course, for activities after. Uh, the things that you can acquire these coffers from would be defeating bosses and monsters, harvesting resource nodes, pickpocketing, opening treasure chests, safe boxes, sigic portals, thieves troves, or other lootable objectives within Westwell itself. Uh, the fallen leaf coffers can have a chance for a random crafting material, gold road, uh, gold road uh, syllable treasures, a chance for a style item for, from the gold road motifs, of course, a chance for a Gold Road Overland set item, a chance for companion gear, it says with any companion unlocked, of course, a chance for one of the following, the Gold Road furnishings or furnishing recipes, treasure maps or survey reports, or Gold Road motif pages, and a small chance for the tradable uh, new Tree Sap Legion armor style. Note that once that once daily sublime fallen leaf uh, leaves coffer has a higher chance of containing the above rewards than the regular one, but there is no number to the limit of regular coffers you can acquire every single day. Also, as you collect coffers during the event, you can also enjoy the following bonuses within Westworld Zone Daily Quest and Trial Weekly Quest award double non event reward boxes, harvest nodes within the gold road are increased. Of course, that includes everything but fishing holes. And also, Gold Road uh, gold road World Bosses, Public Dungeon Bosses, Trial Bosses, and Delve Bosses all reward double loot. For this, of course, you will be able to gain event tickets during the Fallen Leaves of the West Weld event. You can earn two tickets per day by completing, of course, that quest we talked about, any Zone Daily Quest or the Lucent Citadel Weekly Quest. In addition, the event vendor also will have all of the Molog Ball Illusion Imp Pet Fragments, all three uh, Anchor Born Mount Fragments, the Bound Style Pages for the Tree, Stap, uh, tree Sap Legion Style, the Group Repair Kits, and Companion Guild Commendations. Of course, uh, you can get that new mount, or this could be your chance to complete you know, the last few fragments for that new mount. At the same time, the assistant will have all of the Morpholite pet fragments, all of the Deadland Firewalker personality fragments, all three Soulfire Dragon Illusion Imp pet fragments, and all three Quagstaff mount fragments. Uh, finally, the Indrick vendor will also will have the feathers, berries, 
and all that stuff you know that you can expect normally or the things we normally see from the Endrick vendor also anyway guys it's gonna be a good time to get in get some good uh, rewards also you know free rewards because this event is going to be for the community in its entirety so those rewards that you get from the event itself will be community based but also being able to get those coffers each day will give you a lot of rewards as well so leave me a comment with your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace